This is a tutorial to demonstrate a method to remove the reference images and the tracing image from an ArtRage replay. So for example, you would be painting away as normal and can possibly complete a painting. And during that time, you would record an ArtRage script. The ArtRage script will collect all the commands that you use, for example, painting commands and other commands to create the painting which you can then export into a text file, which will then replay for you to demonstrate your process. And when you replay it, it will also display the tracing image and the reference images, which you may not necessarily want displayed. For example, if you're saving your process to YouTube, you may want to not display the reference images because maybe on replay, they obscure some of the settings or you just don't want to show anybody what references you're using for example. So this is a method using a free piece of software called Notepad++ which is just a simple text editor to remove the lines referring to the tracing image and the reference images so that when you replay your process you won't see those. The first thing to do is to go to Google and search for Notepad++. You'll be right at the top of the list. And then go to download and download the relevant version, whether it be 32 bit or 64. I have a 64 bit machine, so I will select the first option. Save it. And then run it. To install, I'll just be selecting all the default options don't need to custom install it. Next, I agree. Next, next, install. We won't run it yet. We'll be running it later when we modify our script. The next step is to create a demo painting showing the creation of a tracing image and the import of some reference images all the time while recording the process. I'll then export to an R script file which will be the text file with all the commands in and then open it up into Notepad++ which I've just installed. I'll then go to the relevant lines referring to references in the tracing image and remove them, save the file and then replay. Let's open up ArtRage. And we will want to record this process, toggle the recording to on straightforward record so it's recording away let's now load in a tracing image I will load in a tracing image of a magpie and now I'll load in some reference images let's load in the magpie and let's load in something else Okay, let's do a bit of tracing. Very simple, just to show the fact that I'm tracing and you can see the tracing image underneath. You can see the references there. And all the while my process is being recorded. That'll do. And now let's stop the recording and it will offer you initially to save the R script file. So I will save it as default untitled. It doesn't really matter for this example. Now I have created my little example picture. I will now open the untitled R script file and replay the process. Accelerate it. And as you can see, we see the tracing image and we see the references and it's replayed back perfectly. That was just proving that we see the tracing image and the references on replay. Now we are going to try and remove them. Close that down and open the R script file in the piece of software we just downloaded. You'll see an option edit with notepad plus plus is now apparent. Select it. And this file lists all the commands, all the painting commands. It's 
loaded in as ASCII file and you can mess around with this to your heart's content. So what we'll be doing is we'll be taking chunks out of it, the chunks referring to the reference images and the chunks referring to the tracing image. So what I want to do is I want to perform a search. I want to search for where the chunks of text are referring to the reference images. So I'll press Control F, which is a find. And in the find what, I want to search for a text of end of reference and select find next. It's found one. Okay. It's taken us to the bottom of a big chunk of data. You can see all these weird symbols. That's the reference image data that it's loaded in. It's taken us to the bottom of that. There is a right brace here. If you select that, it turns red. And that is the end point brace of this whole chunk of data. What I want to do is I want to remove this whole section. In theory, what I could do is I could just scroll up and scroll up and scroll up. There's quite a large amount of data there because it was quite a large image. And then I could select all the way to the top and find the left brace, but there is an easier way. The easier way is initially to select this right brace, which I've now done, then go to search, select all between matching braces. The section selected is all the way from this right hand brace all the way up to the left hand brace which you can't see because it's way above the top here but it will have done it now select delete that's now deleted the whole section what is left though is because the selection did it between the left and right hand brace it left out the bit of text before it and the bit of text at the end of it all we want to do now is remove that line. There is a shortcut for this, which is just Control L for the selected line. As we know, there is another reference. So let's perform the same process again. We've already inputted our find what because it existed from last time. I didn't close this window down. Select find next. It's now found another one. Let's perform the same process again. Select the right hand brace so it turns red. Go to search, select all between matching braces. You can use Control Alt B if you want to, to make it a little bit faster. Then press delete, remove that chunk of data. The line left highlighted is the residual stuff which we also want to delete, so Control L for that. So once you get used to this process, it will be a simple case of just a couple of commands, Control Alt B and then Control L will clear everything up for you. Let's go back to our find. Find next, as you can see, it hasn't been able to find any more occurrences of it because it's displayed can't find the text of end of reference. So that will be all the references removed. Maybe that's all you want. Maybe you still want the tracing image to be displayed, but I'm now going to remove the tracing image. And this process is very similar to the reference. The difference is that you now search for end of tracing rather than end of reference and select find next. As you can see, it's highlighted a relevant line. Again, select that right hand brace so it turns red. I'm now gonna use the shortcut keys of Control Alt B, delete, and then Control L. And that's cleaned everything up. Let's see if there are any more occurrences. There are none. So now we have finished everything. Next step, is to save the file. So let's go up to the save icon and select save. Now it's time to test to see whether this has worked. This untitled R script file we have just modified, let's check to see whether the changes made have removed the references and the tracing image. And accelerate playback again. So there's a tracing going on. Don't see any sign of a tracing image there and I see no references. Just to double check, I can go up to the menu, the reference panel. There are no references now loaded. And go up to the tracing panel, there are no tracings loaded. And also it didn't affect the playback of the script. 
There we go, that is the tutorial for removing references and tracing image on your ArtRage recordings. Hope you find this useful.